President Obama will be laying out the White House welcome mat for Palestinian and Israeli leaders this week in his bid to relaunch face-to-face -face peace negotiations. Trying to breathe life into the stalled talks, Obama is aiming for the prize that has eluded many U.S. presidents before, a deal to end six decades of conflict. Since the Oslo Peace Accords of 1993, Mideast peace talks have stopped and started so often that even the experts don't agree on the exact number. The result? Distrust on the ground and around the negotiating table. I don't think it's good for the Israelis. I hope it will be. I wish. Israeli negotiation, she's, she's wasting our time. She's wasting the whole world time. And everybody knows that. Some Mideast analysts are more hopeful this time around. Well, I think we've gotten a lot wiser over the years and have learned from our mistakes. Others less so. I would fall short of saying that I am hopeful of a grand comprehensive deal. The Obama administration has been pushing for a speedy resumption of face-to-face -face negotiations that broke down in December 2008. The status quo with respect to uh, the Middle East is unsustainable. Getting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas back into the same room required months of careful diplomacy. The first issue facing the negotiations is likely to be the issue of Israeli settlements in the West Bank. There is space there for a compromise uh, to be found, but it's going to have to be very deftly handled by the administration, and it will be a real test for them. That could be just the first of many tests the Obama administration is going to have to pass if it wants to break the pattern of three decades of faltering Mideast peace talks. As one Israeli put it... You can trust the Palestinians sometimes, you can trust the Israelis sometimes. Let's hope they'll find something uh, together. Tracy Brown, The Associated Press.